Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. It is the month of Allah. It is the month of forgiveness. Many of times we forget the effects that sins have on our own personal lives. We think that how come, for example, the financial situation that I should have right now, how come I'm not attaining it? I'm working very hard in life. Say I have a good business plan. But we find out that the result, in some cases, in many cases, is due to our own disobedience of God. Sometimes we want more of God's blessings in this world. We want to have a good spouse. We want to have good children. We want to have a very comfortable life. But our behavior and our actions and our disobedience disrupts this. This is because we are going against the harmony of the universe. When we seek forgiveness, in actuality, we're going back to this harmony. That we are telling God that the disobedience that I had, I want to put it away. I want to seek forgiveness now. And I want to go back on the track of obedience. When we look at the Holy Quran, there are many verses that talk about that the beings, the creation of God is a slave, is a servant to God. Or that other verses of the Holy Quran talk about that the creation does tasbih and glorification and exalts God. Therefore, if a person doesn't glorify God, or if a person doesn't follow God's commands, he's in actuality breaking this harmony. And therefore, he is leaving God's mercy. One of our great teachers in the seminary that has written many books and has passed away and was martyred by the name of Ustad Mutahari, he gives this example of when you look at a calf in relation to its mother. A calf begins to come close to its mother, cuddles, and therefore the mother becomes satisfied and gives it more milk. This is what he explains those that live in, say, villages. They understand the behavior of a calf and that the more it is in line with the desires of the, of the mother, the more milk will have. But if you see a calf that jumps around and kicks its mother, the mother will brush it aside and will give it less milk. This is the same concept that we have in this world, that when we follow the harmony of the universe, Allah's bounties and blessings will be more available for us. In a tradition, a man comes to Imam Rida salam, and it is said that they had one question. They had a question of what they can do about drought. It was not raining in their city. Another person comes and talks about poverty and complains about their financial situation. Another person comes and talks about the problem of not having a child, that he wanted to have a child and Allah had not given him a child. Imam Rida alayhi salam answers basically these three questions with one answer, with the fact that they should seek forgiveness. And when asked, this verse is shown, this verse of the Holy Quran in Surah Nu, that it says, in verse number 10, and said, ask forgiveness of your Lord. Indeed, he is a perpetual forgiver. So the verse says, ask for forgiveness. He is a perpetual forgiver. And then what would happen? The next verse that follows says, he will send rain from the sky upon you, continuing showers. So he will, you seek forgiveness, rain will happen. So it answers the question of the person that was complaining about the drought. The second says, and give, you, and give you increase in wealth and children. And that person that was complaining about wealth, the Quran says, seek forgiveness. He will give you wealth. And also answering the third, that he will also give you children. So we understand from this verse in Surah Nuh that many of God's blessings come from us seeking forgiveness and coming back to the harmony of this universe. Yes, there are times, periods that Allah will test us with our sustenance, with our provision. That is a different concept. It's important to analyze the different factors that God will give you and test you with his blessings. But as an overall rule, the more that we follow God's commands, the more that we are a humble slave to him, the more we follow the harmony and the order of the universe, 
the more God will present to us His blessings in this world. So we ask Allah, inshallah, that in this holy month of Ramadan, He gives us the ability to seek forgiveness and He gives us taqwa and God weariness so that His provisions can be bestowed upon us, inshallah. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى بيته الطيبين